everybody this is Siddharth and uh, this is the DIY Guru vehicle dynamics course that we will be going through uh, this is the first introductory video that we will be going through today and in this particular video we will be broadly talking about what fundamentally vehicle dynamics is about uh, we will not be getting into any technical intricacies we will be only talking about vehicle dynamics from very layman term and we will also be looking into the various broad headings and topics that I will be covering in this entire uh, video lectures and in, uh, in this entire course. All right. So uh, just to begin with, I have interacted with most of the students that have enrolled in this course and uh, from DIY Guru, a lot of prerequisite materials have been provided. One of which was a book called uh, Tune to Win by Carol Smith. That book is majorly for uh, race car engineering, but uh, the chapters that I had advised to read, uh, they, they must have given you a very good idea as to what vehicle dynamics is all about and why do we actually use it? When do we use it and what, what effect does it have over the performance of a vehicle? So uh, to begin with, let's just fundamentally see what vehicle dynamics is about. So um, when I talk about vehicle dynamics and I'm talking about uh, the performance of the various components and masses of the vehicle under various situations that the vehicle goes into during its run. So to say that what happens to the car when it goes in a straight line, when it accelerates in a straight line or when it brakes in a straight line, right? what happens to the different components, the tire, the vehicle body, the chassis, the suspension system, what happens then? Then what happens to the car when I take a turn, when I take a 90 degree turn or when I take a U-turn, what happens to the car body then? What happens to the tires? What happens to the suspension systems and the chassis of the car? Then what happens to the car when it goes over a bump, either in a straight turn or during a turn? If I encounter a road block or a road bump on the ground, which are normally the speed breakers in urban driving conditions, what happens then when I go over a bump? What happens to the tire, the vehicle and the other components? Then in retrospect, what happens to the car and its components when it goes over a droop or in the normal uh, terminologies over a pothole? Then what happens to the car when I steer it? So, uh, uh, not to be confused, when I talk about what happens to the car when I take a turn and when I say what happens to the car when I steer it, these are two different things. You may not be able to understand this perfectly right now, but uh, when I get into the particular respective videos of steering and uh, vehicle dynamics, you will be able to understand this in a much better manner. For now, just know that I'm talking about two different things when I say what will be the dynamic conditions of the vehicle when it takes a turn and what will be the dynamic conditions of the vehicle when I steer it, all right? Then what happens when few or all of the situations mentioned above are combined? So to say, I have described a few situations, a few dynamic situations, but it is not necessary that only one situation arises at a time. There can be chances and incidents when more than one of these situations and even most of these situations or all of these situations come at once. What happens then? So this, this is like the most fundamental and most layman explanation of what fundamentally vehicle dynamics is all about, right? So now let's look at what are the different topics that we will be covering in this entire uh, um, in this entire course. So we will begin with the vehicle model and its components, the basic model and the basic components of the vehicle and the focus will be on those components which govern the vehicle dynamics of a car body. Then we will be talking about weight, mass and load. Now uh, when I say weight, mass and load, you may think that these are the same things but uh, when I go in this particular video, you will realize I am slightly uh, I, I, I mean all of these three to be slightly different from each other, not exactly the same. Uh, will not, I'll not talk about this right now, 
but when we go into the video lectures we'll be talking about it in detail then we will talk about vehicle body dynamics uh, vehicle body dynamics will be taking into consideration we'll be dealing with the uh, what are the different components of the vehicle body and how differently they behave in the dynamic conditions right then we'll have the suspension components we'll define what are the particular components of the suspension system of vehicle and uh, what role do they play in the suspension design and the suspension geometry and dynamics of the system so once we are uh, once we have understood what are the suspension components then we can move into the suspension geometry and dynamics we will define how the different components are uh, are are and can be combined together in different geometries so that uh, so that different dynamic conditions can be achieved as per the requirements of the driver or as per the requirements of the manufacturer right then we will be dealing with steering components steering is another uh, is another system subsystem of the vehicle which greatly governs the dynamics of the car so we'll be talking about the various types of steering components the various types of steering mechanisms that are used in cars and once we are through with that we will be talking about how these components are combined together in different geometries to govern the different dynamics same as suspension geometry and dynamics but uh, uh, we'll, in steering steering geometry and in steering geometry dynamics we are more concerned with lateral vehicle dynamics so this will be a very broader expanse and we will possibly be dwelling back again into suspension geometry and dynamics because lateral vehicle dynamics is something which is very uh, broad in itself and is very important also lateral vehicle dynamics is something especially in race car engineering which can make or break a vehicle which can make a vehicle win or make a vehicle lose so lateral vehicle dynamics is something which will be dwelling very deeply in then we will be talking about external vehicle aerodynamics uh, external vehicle aerodynamics we will not be dealing at a very very great depth but uh, we will be seeing on the implementation sides of external vehicle aerodynamics and what are the fundamentals because uh, vehicle aerodynamics is is very very mathematically intensive it's very mathematically intensive and it gets a little tough uh, to uh, to converge the mathematical formulations for beginners so we'll not be dealing in detail with in that as of now we'll give a very good view of what are the implementation procedures and what are the practices that are followed to assess the vehicle aerodynamic conditions then uh, we want that every student is not just sound in the theoretical aspects we also want that every student is able to design and develop the different components of the vehicle uh, that govern the vehicle dynamics so we'll be using a few softwares and a few tools that are used generally to uh, derive the vehicle dynamic uh, conditions and test them over uh, simulation softwares virtually so that we can have a good idea as to if our design is correct or not so we will begin with matlab matlab is a mathematical analysis tool so we'll be uh, mostly be working with simulink simulink will help us design the subsystems of the vehicle dynamic uh, subsystem of the vehicle dynamics such as quarter car models or half car models we will be analyzing them and we'll be uh, finding out the response of the vehicle in the different situations then we will be dealing with adams msc simulations adams msc is a is a world class um, multi body dynamic simulation tool which is greatly used throughout the world for especially for vehicle dynamic simulations then there is a very simple yet very useful software tool called lotus raven shark so lotus raven shark uh, comes with a number of uh, pre built packages for software so, i'm sorry for suspensions and uh, we will be dealing with the number of suspensions that it provides and how we can simulate these suspensions in the software so let's just quickly go through the broad topics uh, one by one a little bit in detail not too much just a little bit so the first topic that will be the vehicle model and its components we will be dealing with the different components so if you have ever seen the inside of the car 
uh, underside I'm sorry the underside of the car you notice something like this so uh, if you can notice there is a there is a shock absorber right here where my cursor is there is another shock absorber right here where my cursor is and this rod thing which you can see this is an anti-roll bar which this will, we'll be talking about in detail again uh, in the respective videos we'll be talking about what are these these a kind of arms what are these how do they govern the suspension system what is this upper link thing what does this do and all these things so uh, we'll be talking about the different components of this of the of the suspension system and the steering system uh, how important they are and what do they what role do they play in the entire vehicle dynamics then we'll talk about weight mass and load uh, they, uh, We'll not talk about it right now, but uh, just just to give you an overview, uh, there are different kinds of masses in the vehicle. When I say different kinds, I, I just not mean the different shapes and sizes. I'm talking about these masses play different roles in the entire vehicle and its dynamics. And because they play different roles, they also have different behaviors under different dynamic conditions. Uh, a very small example, when you accelerate, you would have noticed that you tend to go back but believe me you go back but the tire does not go back or does not go up so basically the tire and the vehicle body are two different kinds of masses and they behave differently under the dynamic conditions so we'll be going in detail through that because this is one of the most important um, important topics that are to be covered in this course then we'll be talking about vehicle body dynamics in detail so uh, this particular thing we'll be dealing with the various motions of the vehicle body the different forces that act when the when the when the vehicle is going into different dynamic conditions and the different uh, how do the different masses of the body interact uh, the different masses that we'll be, we would have dealt with in the previous video how do these uh, masses interact with each other because a vehicle in itself is a multi-bodied system there are tires attached to the vehicle chassis through components which can expand and contract these components which can expand and contract we all know to be the shock absorbers they can expand and contract and they attach the tires of the vehicle and the chassis of the vehicle together so it's a multi-body system which has some compliance and some stiffness and some damping uh, some damping coefficients right so we'll be talking about vehicle body dynamics in the multi-body sense then we'll get into the suspension system core suspension system what are the components which make up the suspension system if you can see in this picture we have the front sus suspension system and we have the rear suspension systems uh, right now you think that these both are of the same kind they are not uh, but we'll be dealing with the different kinds of suspension systems in detail in the respective videos and we will also be dealing with how what is the what is the procedure that goes into developing and designing the components of these suspension systems okay then once you have dealt with the suspension system components we will be talking about how these components can be arranged together in what geometry in the 3d space so that we can have a particular required and particular um, dynamic conditions of the vehicle as we want the vehicle to behave okay then again uh, we'll have the components of the steering system what are the different steering mechanisms that are used in vehicles and how and what components govern the steering performance of the vehicle we'll be talking about those things once we know the steering components, we'll deal with the arrangement of these components in 3D space and how this arrangement, the geometry governs the steering dynamics of the vehicle and how the steering dynamics in turn govern the entire vehicle dynamics. So for example, in this in this image, nothing is clear, but just 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 notice that the left tire and the right tire are not an, at an angle which are parallel to each other so to say that the plane of the left tire and the plane of the right tire are is not parallel to each other isn't it and that is why we can have one single center 
where the perpendicular lines from the planes of the tires meet. This is something we just keep in mind right now and once we are in the steering system geometry and dynamics tutorial we will understand why this happens and why it is so very important. All right. Then um, as I said we will be talking about external vehicle aerodynamics not in a lot of detail but from the perspective of implementation and practical know-how as to how the design of the outer body or the casing of the vehicle or any body as such governs the vehicle dynamics or governs the aerodynamics of the system. So on the implementation end, we'll be talking about MATLAB simulations. We'll be mostly using Simulink and a little bit of coding also designing the various feedback systems and feed forward systems that that represent the sub components of the subsystems of the vehicle dynamics the suspension system or the steering system. What you see here is essentially a quarter car vehicle model. This is one of the most basic and most used uh, models in vehicle dynamic vehicle dynamic systems and I think we'll be beginning with this only in our video which deals with MATLAB simulations. Then we'll be talking about Adams MSC and how it can be used for simulating uh, entire car models either front or rear and just to verify that what we have designed as suspension components and suspension systems are they correct or not and do they behave as we want them to behave or not. All right. Then uh, finally, we'll have this particular tool, this very simple software, which lets us analyze different kinds of pre-built suspension systems which come with it. And uh, we'll then again uh, see that how our hand calculations and mathematical formulations that we perform uh, during the design of the suspension system, of the suspension system, how, how, how it can be verified through this software. All right. So this, I guess, is all. Uh, we'll be seeing <clears throat> in the next video with the vehicle body components and the systems. So uh, then see you next time. All right. Thank you.